I found out one thing, I don't like things that make too much texture other than what your paint would make. I've always liked to draw on that. And then uh, I took the part and uh, we didn't have anything much like that until I got to high school. But we had an elderly lady that was an art teacher, our art teacher, and she was uh, a little stern, which made it good. And she and I got along real well. Uh, there was a couple really good artists. Uh, a lot of kids took it, uh, didn't like it like I did. Then I, after I got out of the service, went to LA Trade Tech. Uh, went there for two years. Came out, uh, Gwen's mom, she had a job at Boeing, and I, uh, we eventually bought a frame shop. And I'd been painting all along this time, but uh, when I got into with the frame shop, I had uh, more, you know, uh, more time to paint, more it was being around art and everything. It helped me a lot. Living in Olympia had a, a lot of things to, things to work with. This is kind of an artist town with Mount Rainier behind you from many angles. You could see it from wherever. Uh, the whole area with, with the state capitol, the, the Olympia Brewery, uh, uh, it had a lot to offer. A lot of my earlier paintings are from that area and Capitol Lake. Uh, I guess it uh, probably was one of my bigger influences. And we went to Little Rock, which is just right outside of Olympia, and uh, you jump into kind of a little different kind of country. Uh, I mean, it's more uh, little farms and that, and that's where I did the barn at. That was, and I did a lot of felt tips and that from that uh, particular couple of weeks. I did that, that's what started all through it, was felt tip pen, then I went back over it with oil. But this is, this one right here, just felt tip. And that's the old portable Olympia. And we also house set above here. Uh, this is Republic Washington. I, I was just, I didn't have any time. I, I drew that in about 20 minutes. When I, you know, then colored some of it in later. That's the old church that's above downtown Republic. Uh, and there's another very cool church downtown. And they're kind of have the same feeling. But just this one, the steeple and everything, you see it right from Main Street. Um, those are influenced by Quinn. Because, I mean, where he lived. But yeah, that's the way uh, LA, you can see it anywhere, but looking down Sunset or being up around Silver Lake to me is you know, really interesting. There's another one of LA over on the left. This is one that I had hanging at Millie's. It was brighter than that. Uh, but Anyway, when I got it back, at first I thought, well, I'm going to go back, but I like it a lot. I hope it'll stay that way. Maybe I could spray it, because I'm sure I didn't, you know, paint it uh, that faded. Another one of my favorites is the, the guy in the um, park, you know, the bus bench, right up, we don't like Sunset, or uh, the other one that comes off of it. This one here is the Spokane River. One of my very favorite chalk, you know, pastel. I've been working on this one, still not done. I'm gonna bring, make this here in the valley a lot. So bring those mountains, you know, forward. And they have to be, you know, darker, you know, a little in value to make those mountains more realistic. But there's a lot of purple in them, but I didn't want to uh, bring them down too hard. So I'm still working on that one. I like trains. I just sold one to a lady uh, that puts on the uh, art show in Indio. From here, when we go to Vegas, there's an area you go through, I'm not sure the name of it, but you go through and it's kind of like a crossing with the railroad and all that. It's in that area and they always have boxcars and things sitting there. And it's, uh, they also have this this look that way the day that probably I was impressed with the, the way it looked because I love to see like birds and, uh, you know, because they're there. 
and even when I drive out our, our front, you can see the wires and they're just totally filled with birds. And I, I like trains. I was lived around them all my life. And those are those are whale pastels, the the ones that like about I don't know how many years ago when it snowed up here on the mountains, that it was almost a perfect line of snow going across there. That is where we live and you look straight down in the people that take their their uh, their garbage to the dump, they go past our house and they either have their garbage on setting on top of their car or on, setting on top of the trunk. They don't most of them don't even open the trunk, they just set it on top of their car. And right here, where the, right at the very first where my name is, uh, they come around that corner, but I've never seen anybody lose their garbage. <laughs> and those are again uh, out here, Coachella, uh, that, and also uh, Washington State, they're, they're very uh, um, Similar, you know, the grapevines and all that. We went over on to the winery in, in uh, Spokane. It's an old uh, uh, inventor's house, and he built he built a uh, tram system that went down across the Spokane River, which was not this wide. He had more, you know. This was up on a hill, clear over the other side, and then he had a little building that it would go into, and then he kept his car there, and he'd, he'd drive into Spokane where they had their, uh, their business. Built this studio, I don't know, about, about five years ago. Built all these frames. Like, these are built out of two by four, and uh, cut them up, make little moldings out of them kind of sand them down, get them where I want them, and then I take a knife and antique them. I'll cut in and maybe a little drill, pull, or hit it with a chisel, whatever. And uh, so, and then I stain them. This is my mom and Gwen's uh, great grandma. And I can't, uh, not have her out here. And then this is my son's um, cool artwork and a few pictures of them from when they were a lot younger. And I think they're great drawings. They have art ability. I keep telling Rio that he has a lot of art ability. And uh, some of these you're looking at uh, are his. But we have the one in the house that has 